Why am I even using sparks? Flames. Flames are always better. Fun little tidbit of information. Unless you're going up against mages specifically, uh, flame, the fire spells, are always, always better because the bonus effect they have deals uh, additional damage over time. So they will pretty much always do more damage than everything else. Sneak attack. And sword through the gut. Let's take all their stuff. Oh, that's another one of the that's one of the weapons you get. Yeah, hunter's iron hunter's spear. This is one of the weapons you get with uh, immersive weapons. Works just like a battle axe because you can actually see that on the type thing here. So it works exactly like a battle axe, but it looks like a spear. So. It's just a little thing they have was added with immersive weapons. Take all the potions. And now we get to meet the torturer. There he is. Oh, that Stormcloak is dead. Yes, I know I was supposed to kill the Stormcloaks, but I felt like killing those guys instead. <laughs> because he doesn't get pissed off at me if I do it, and he's a torturer. not going to be able to take much more stuff. And before anybody gets all pissy, yes, that is a lockpick cheat mod. No, I will not turn it off. If you don't like it, oh well. Because I've played through this game enough times without it that I don't really care whether or not I have it. Of course, the main reason why I use that, though, is because I was just pissed off with what they did with uh, lockpicking in general. Because you get... Uh, in Oblivion, you had the skeleton key, which you could pick up and then just use as an unbreakable lockpick. In this game, you can get the skeleton key, but in order to finish the quest line that you get it in, you have to actually give up the, the skeleton key. And you can... Uh, actually get a perk that makes all lockpicks unbreakable, but you can only get it with uh, 100, level 100 in uh, lockpicking. So basically, you can only have it once you've proven that you don't need it. Yes, I know my magicka is low. Oh, I'm going to die in here, maybe. Yeah, health is low. Yeah, I'm going to die. Potions, where are you? There you are. Where the hell is Hadvar while I'm fighting both of these guys? There we go. And I leveled up. Cool. Now there you are, Hadvar. Off being useless. Okay, let's level up health, and let's get Novice Destruction. Let's run over here, set the oil on fire, suddenly he's dead. Move her into the fire, suddenly she's dead. Well, no, she's not dead. Okay, that's cool. Well, they died eventually. 
Uh, the only thing I want from you is your bow and your arrows. I will be needing those. Now, let's see. Items, weapons, bow. There's another gold coin purse down that path, but I never get it. I just know it's there. Coin purse here. Crouch down. And sneak attack the... Oh, missed it. There we go. You can just one-shot the frostbite spiders and get sneak levels. Wow, what is wrong with these arrows? I have to arch it more? Is this one of my... There we go. Had to arc it a little bit more. Okay, that one's dead, I believe. Oh no, that one's not dead. Okay. Now it's dead. Get some free levels in the sneak. Now can I get any of my arrows back? No, just frostbite venom. Ah, there's an arrow back. And now we come over here, and you may or may not be able to hear one of the the silly mod that I got installed because Lolliet, one of my viewers, wanted me to install at least one silly mod. So I installed this one. Let's see if you can experience it right now. <laughs> so I ran out of arrows. <laughs> Auto-tune bears. Yeah. Good times. And I get one of my arrows back. Cool. Let's pick up the bear pelt, too, while I'm at it. And now we're out of here. Now, the first time I tested these mods and just went through Helgen, I crashed almost immediately after leaving Helgen. So, let's hope that doesn't happen here. Let's just ignore you. Where's Alduin? Did he fly over already? He flew all over already. This is another one of the mods I have installed. Giant trees for Skyrim. It's pretty fun. Here's hoping it doesn't completely crash my game. Yeah. Let's put these away. Uh, hello, Maldi, whatever. I cannot pronounce that name. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I honestly am terrible with names. So, you might notice there's an addition here to the Guardian Stones. This is another one of my mods. This one I will not actually be making use of. It's uh, Tomb of Experience. Basically, if I activate this, I instantly hit level 80, max level in everything. But, like I said, I will not be making use of that. Uh, instead, I will be activating Mage Stone, I believe. Either Mage Stone or Thief Stone. Depends on what I want to do. I'm going to go with Mage Stone. That mod is, usually, is mostly just something I use whenever I want to test out a particular perk setup. I just start up a new game, run up to the Guardian Stones, hit that, and suddenly I'm at max level. Now there should be some wolves that show up right around here. Huh. 
Weird, there should be wolves there. Hmm. Oh well. I guess the wolves didn't want to die this time. Usually whenever I play through, there are wolves there. And welcome to Riverwood. Here's Sven. He's a dick. Here is Sven's mother. She's senile. There's a chicken. It's tasty. <laughs> and here's the guy we have to talk to. Ain't every day we get visited. Hadvar. How do you know him? Let's see. I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. But you didn't answer my question. <laughs> oh, Hi, lol. Also, lol, do not talk in all caps. I have the mod on patrol to not have people talk in all caps or post links. First time you do it, it's a warning, so it's only a 10 second timeout. Second time you do it, you're going to be timed out for a full 10 minutes. What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. No, nope, you weren't wrong. It was a dragon. A dragon here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. You actually missed the silly mod, lol. It's uh, it's pretty funny. You'll probably see it the next time I encounter a bear. Okay, and get a silver ring, potions, iron ingot, and yeah, that's it. And then we're going to come over here to the Riverwood Trader. Listen, I know you two are having fun with your little spat, but I really need to sell a bunch of this Some stuff. Call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Again, my character's name is Nephthys, for anybody who wasn't in uh, the stream when I started. Uh, anybody who knows where I got that name from, you win two internets. Please know using Google. But here's a hint. It's my usual username. Which, for the, which is actually a uh, little bit of a uh, cheat for people who don't usually come to the stream. My usual username is Sutek. <laughs> so. Oh, apparently I still have the profanity filter on. I need to turn that off in my chat. I'll do that later. But yeah, that's it. Related to Neptune. No, it's not related to Neptune. Uh, let's see. So one of the longbows, both the Axes, all but one of the swords, sell the spear, sell the great swords. Uh, go ahead and sell all of the capes. Sell the boots. Sell the gauntlets. Get rid of the shield. Uh, that can go. Those can go. That can go, and I think that's about it for what I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell that too, because I'm going to be wearing the uh, novice hood and robes for a while. And yeah, that's all I'm going to be selling. Did I pick up anything else? Nope, nothing else worth selling. Okay, what do you have that's worth buying? you have any good spells? You have fury. Awesome. I'm going to take that. Trinkets, uh, odds and ends. No. I didn't want you to do that. Okay. Riverwood uh, yeah. There we go. We did have a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to an ornament. Solid. You could. I've got some coin. Okay. And we pick up the quest to find the golden claw. Now, normally the order you're supposed to do this in, or I guess the order that they intended you to do it in 
is you hit Riverwood, you go to...